Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. Hello and welcome to the print. I'm right now at the IMDS 2019, the Russian Naval Show. And I'm at the Brahmo stall. Incidentally, this is the only Indian, uh, you know, participant here at the Naval Show. And I have with me uh, Praveen from the Brahmo's Aerospace to talk to us about uh, the various kinds of Brahmo's uh, cruise missiles that are there uh, with the Indian military as well as that would be there in the future. Uh, Praveen, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Talwa class frigates and now uh, two such frigates are being built here in Russia. We've, we've shown you the, the pictures and videos of it earlier. As you can see, these are the Brahmos uh, missiles that, are, that have been uh, incorporated into this uh, frigate. So uh, Praveen, what are the different kinds of uh, Brahmos missiles that are in operation with the Indian military as of now? Well, uh, as you have rightly said, uh, that uh, this is the Talwar class uh, of the ships which are being built at Kaliningrad. Uh, we already have uh, eight Brahmos missiles in the earlier ones uh, installed. And uh, the new ships, two of them which are going to come from Kaliningrad will also have uh, Brahmos missiles. And those which are going to be built in Goa shipyard will also be, Brahmos will be the prime strike weapon of those ships. Uh, we have, uh, Brahmos is generally a universal cruise missile. So we use the same missile for the ship launch, for the army and as well as for uh, land to land sea to sea or sea to land targets whereas uh, in the air launch version which uh, you know recently we have done the launch in the last, uh, last month uh, against uh, from su-30 mk against a land target which was a perfect hit uh, that has some changes in it there's a different nose cap for more aerodynamical functioning there are some additional tail fins uh, but the actual missiles remains the same and of course we have reduced the booster there because uh, the aircraft itself is having some speed uh, so we have reduced the weight by around uh, 400 kgs so we have two versions presently which are in deployment that is the Brahmos air version and the Brahmos universal version which can be used on ships as well as on uh, army land platforms well you know our viewers uh, remember that the Brahmos uh, cruise missiles fitted on board the Su-30 MKI is a huge uh, jump as far as Indian capability is concerned uh, because remember that you can hit uh, you know targets uh, which is about over 300 kilometers away from the safe confines of the Indian airspace itself uh, another interesting uh, thing that the Brahmos is actually doing is the submarine uh, launched version of these Brahmos and as you can see this is a submarine this is just a model of a submarine with brahmos uh, cruise missiles fitted on board this is a, a vertical uh, launch uh, set of the brahmos missiles remember that india has gone in uh, has got an issued an rfi that is a request for information and an expression of interest uh, for the next generation of six conventional submarines with aip technology and one of the points that has been mentioned is the fact that uh, these uh, 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 meaning you know the, these new submarines would be fitted with an indian cruise missile and it most likely this could very well be the brahmos so uh, praveen uh, in terms of what is the latest update as the the update on the submarine project for the brahmos well as we all know we are waiting everyone is waiting eagerly for the 75i project from a long time to ensure our uh, users especially the navy uh, we have already conducted a launch from underwater platform uh, uh, in 2013 13. which was a very successful launch and we have demonstrated that the same missile can be used from a submarine uh, we are ready with the missile and we just need uh, the uh, platform mm, yes uh, from the uh, we need the platform to install it and uh, give it to our users to make them even more formidable you know correct me if i'm wrong uh, you've already spoken to a number of uh, makers who are taking part in the p75 india project right uh, you are very right snehis we have already discussed with the rubin design we we had a discussion with SGW, we had discussion with uh, uh, other uh, design bureaus also and all uh, unanimously has said that putting a universal launch uh, Brahmos with 8 missiles along with AIP uh, systems will not in any case deteriorate the uh, configuration or the specification of the submarine. But in fact it is going to enhance because the missiles can be used for uh, anti-ship purposes and anti-land targets and the torpedo tubes which are there can be used for defense so you will be having a submarine which will have a defensive weapon as well as an offensive weapon well as previous
Arvind explained, BrahMos, a joint venture between India and Russia, is a universal missile. And what I mean by universal is the fact that this BrahMos can be launched from air, from land, as well as under the sea. For the print, this is Snehshalex Philip.